this is Chris here. We're going to do a uh, quarantine chain setup. Uh, a lot of you probably don't know how to do this. Some of you probably have a better idea, but this is the only way we know how to do it. So we have the material already here, which is, you know, what you're going to see me put together. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you real quick how to do it. If it goes together the way it's supposed to. So it's just a pair of pliers and a hammer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Now just make sure when you put the rest of it in place, you know it goes where it goes. I've had some, some are still that way. You just secure it, which you'll see in a minute. So there, there's one end. Now we're gonna do the other. Now this here is a two-pop session because you have to have the swivel and the cold shell. So you're gonna attach the chain, then the swivel on this end. You're gonna repeat the same process as that one. Sometimes right here is the issue. I'm going to close this just a minute to make it easier so it doesn't fall. This one end, and now we'll do the other. Maybe this one will go together a little easier. Now when you make these, make sure those cold shuts are shut. They will break, they will come undone if you don't have them completely shut. There, there's a the chain. Now we'll show you how it really goes. This is the collar of the dog. It goes through the O-ring, the swivel end, and it goes on. Now you can get these collars at stillwater.com where you can use whatever you want for collars, but we prefer a seat buckle. They've last 15, 20 years on certain ones. So there's one end, this goes on the dog. Now this end here, we use axles. You put it just like this and it goes in the ground. We use a sludge hammer, put them in and they don't, they don't pull them out. So. If you're going to have a dog that's, you know, active and you have to keep them outside, I prefer you to use them this way. Um, stay tuned. We'll have a video about how to make dog houses. Have a good day.